Okay, so let's get started off by just opening up GarageBand and I'm going to open up a new file. All right, there we go, empty project. And then of course, just, I need a um, microphone for my level there. Okay, so we've got this here and you can see we've got track uh, number one right here. Let me just go ahead and adjust this here. Okay, I'm gonna rename the track and I'm gonna call this uh, the DJ track, okay, so DJ. Just so you don't get anything confused, you know, you give, give them some names. You saw what I did there though, you just uh, two finger tap on the actual track here and then you just go to uh, rename track, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and add another uh, track here. Just a microphone is fine for right now, uh, recording track. Okay, and I'm gonna rename this one uh, music. And this is what I expect to see um, when you do yours. So don't try to put everything on one track. It'll drive you crazy. And then you won't be to adjust different volume levels as well. Okay, so we got music and then um, I'm gonna add another track here. Okay. And this one is gonna be my sweepers and bumpers. Okay, so rename that and sweepers. Sweepers and bumpers. Trying to record and type at the same time. Okay, so I've got my three tracks set up. That is step number one. Uh, step number two in here, let's just go ahead and make sure under the garage band preferences that we are truly getting the USB. Oh, see, it didn't accept these. So I've got to go in here and make sure these are USB codecs. Yeah, good thing I double checked. You don't want these on system. You want these on USB codecs so that it's getting everything from the mixer. All right, so that looks good. I think we've, we've got ourselves a, a good setup here. Come back in the next video and we will do the next step.